everyone, you are on the Cryptomania channel and with this video I am starting a new section on the channel in which I will talk about farming and other bonuses of DeFi in various networks and I will start with the Solana network. In this video I will not go into the technical part and talk about this blockchain in details since this is a topic for a separate video. Please write in the comments if you want me to make a detailed video about Solana. But I will still say a few words. Solana is called the killer of the ether. This is a very fast blockchain with very low fees and no problems with scalability. The project managed to attract funds from such serious investors as Alameda Research, Anderson Horowitz, Multicoin Capital, Polychain Capital and so on. Therefore the prospects for the development of the Solana ecosystem are very promising, especially if we consider that the cost of the Ether network fees remains high and the Binance Smart Chain fees only seem low, because if we compare them with Solana, we will understand that it's actually expensive. Plus, the Binance Smart Chain network is growing, the cost of BNB is growing and consequently fees are growing. Let's see how much the fees cost in the Binance Smart Chain network. For example, for the last month 0.001 BNB, which at the current exchange rate is about 30 cents and the average commission is Solana is 0.00025 dollars. That is, the difference is 1200 times and this despite the fact that the in Binance Smart Chain fees will only increase over time. That's why I decided to make this video so that you can be ready for the future hype of DeFi on Solana, especially if you missed hype on Ether and on Binance Smart Chain. Ok, we are on Solana website, let's go to ecosystem. Here you can find projects, some of them run already, some of them in developing. You can sort them by using these buttons. And I will start with Radium. Radium, this is automated market maker that is a decentralized exchanger with the ability to make instant exchanges and using the liquidity of the entire Serum ecosystem. And Serum is a decentralized exchange on Solana which support limit orders and order books at the blockchain level. But now we will not stop there, we will go back to Radium. And now total value locked is 650 millions and total trading volume it's about 5 billions. But let's move to Radium interface. To start as on other decks we need to connect a wallet, click on the upper right corner connect and select a wallet. I use Phantom, it seemed to me the most convenient. This wallet recently attracted 9 million in funding, including from Anderson Horowitz, and the CEO stated the following. We will consider the monetization of our token exchange mechanism in the wallet and opportunities for staking. NFT is also an exciting new area for experimentation. So I expect for appearance of its own token and perhaps airdrop, but this is still groundless guesses. I recommend everyone to study the features of different wallets on their own and choose the most suitable one for you. So, what options we do have for farming? We can add liquidity and then stake the received LP tokens on the farm tab or on the fusion tab. And first of all we need to select a pool to add liquidity. Go to pools, here we have radium pools and permissionless pools. That is, these are pools created by radium and permissionless pools is a pool created by the user. Here we have click on one year fees and sort the percentage of income and descending order. The next thing you need to consider when choosing a pool is what rewards you want to receive. 
because you can stake LP tokens in farm step and here only 5 supported pools and you will be earn Ray reward. That's why if you want to receive a reward in Ray as well, you should choose one of these pools. Or we can click fusion tab and here we have more pools and in these pools you will earn another tokens. For example, in this pool step USDC, you will get step token with this percentage. Or if you choose this pool, you will get media token and so on. Also, before making a decision, it is worth considering that if you stake LP tokens in farms and earn Ray here, you can harvest Ray reward from here and stake in on this staking tab with this APR. By the way, Ray can be staked not only here, but also on another site on the Solfarm website. This is a yield aggregator of the type Earn Finance, Biffy Finance and so on, where your profit is maximized by constant reinvestment of profits. We can click Show Stake It and here I have some deposited rate and my APY a little bit higher than on Radeon website. Plus they add some more in native tokens of Solfarm platform. But let's go back to Radium. And now I will show in practice, as they say, where to click. First of all, you need to have both tokens of the pair on your wallet where you want to add liquidity. I will be adding liquidity to Step USDC pool. Since I already have a few Step tokens and I only need to get USDC tokens on the Solana network to my wallet. And there are several ways. You can use one of the bridges from Ethereum to Solana, but there is an even easier option, so to speak for the lazy ones. It's to withdraw from the FTX exchange. By the way, if you don't have an account on this exchange yet, then register using my referral link and get a discount on trading fees. And you can make funds from a bank card on this exchange if you have passed verification. So, I have here some USD. I need to get USDC in my wallet in Solana network. I click withdraw, choose withdraw USDC, maximum. Next what I need to copy my wallet address, copy, insert here. And please note, after we inserted the address, the system itself determined that this is the address of the Solana network and there are no fees at all, zero. Next, enter the Google Authenticator code and click withdraw, withdraw. Okay, now let's check our wallet. Here we see USDC coin and step. Let's add liquidity. We choose in this pool and Click maximum and supply. Approve. Transaction has been confirmed. And here we see your liquidity. And here we have all the data. You can see your pool tokens and your pool share. And now we can stake these pool tokens. To do this, we go to the Fusion tab. We select Step USDC LP and click Stake LP. Maximum. Confirm and approve. Ok, transaction has been confirmed. And now we already have a step in pending rewards. By the way, I choose step here solely because I just had a little bit of these tokens lying around. This is by no means financial advice, so choose the most profitable pair for you. And of course it makes sense to choose one of these pairs to get rewards in Ray token. And then this ray is still staking here on the staking tab. Or you can stake it on Sol Farm, as I showed earlier. Now as for back, how to do everything back. We go to Fusion. Here we click minus, maximum, confirm, approve. So we got LP tokens back on our wallet here. And now we go back to liquidity, click here and remove maximum confirm approve so the transaction is executed 
we go into the wallet and see our USDC coin and our step tokens. In conclusion, I will say that a new growing ecosystem is always a lot of uh, options for income. You should check it and you will find your gain. So that's it for now. Please like this video if it was useful for you, write comments with questions and suggestions, subscribe to the channel. Good luck to everyone. Bye.